Hi, my name is Tracy Tegahama Espinosa, and this is an overview of the course on the tenets in mind, brain, and education science. As we mentioned in the course on principles, there's really only a handful of really good information that should be shared with teachers that comes out of neuroscientific labs. And these are kind of divided into two different chunks. Principles are things that are true for all human brains across the lifespan. And tenants are things that are also true about the human brain, but there's a really big range of human variants. For example, motivation. Is that important for learning? Absolutely. But what motivates you doesn't necessarily motivate me. Sleep, nutrition. We know that there's at least these 21 tenants that are also impacting in student learning outcomes, but that it's very hard to prescribe specific interventions due to the uniqueness of individuals. So we define a tenant as a construct in learning in which there's a lot of evidence, but there's also a huge range in human variability. For example, we know that all most humans learn to talk and walk, but there is a range with, within which it's acceptable to learn to do these skills. We also know there's body types that are different, but there's a range, right? Similarly for sleep patterns, we know that there's a range, you know, anywhere between 4 and 12 hours is normal. 8 is average, but um, we have to accept there's going to be a huge range of human variability. So the tenets we want to explore with you in this class have to do with motivation, affect and cognition, stress, anxiety, depression, challenge and threat, facial expressions, tones of voices, the concept that learning is social, attention, learning progressions, conscious and unconscious processes of learning, ages versus stages versus prior experience as indicators of learning readiness, the mind-body connection, sleep and dreaming, nutrition, physical activity, the concept of use it or lose it, feedback and its role in learning, authentic learning situations, and understanding novelty and the role of patterns in learning. So as with the principles, we're going to be looking at each of these in depth and then trying to see how this has an impact in your classrooms. What does knowing this information now do about the way you interact with your students? Looking forward to learning with you.